the next question is what is a twister why are the majority of the twisters observed in the areas around the gulf of mexico this is the question that has been asked so this is the new term which you will be hearing because we don't mention the term twister when we are teaching we obviously mention the term called tornados tornados is the term which we generally mention see twister is nothing but a tornado it is other name of tornado you can start with the introduction you can start with the introduction where it is the twister or tornado is the rapid movement of the air the column of air so generally the intensity varies with 40 miles to 300 miles per hour the intensity of the air column moving in a squindling fashion in a spiraling fashion varies at 40 to 300 miles per hour so for example the texas tornado in 2023 this is how you can introduce the term called twister twister see how does a twister actually forms how does a twister actually forms see when you consider this as the large cloud which has been formed then there is stronger warm winds which are fueling this cloud and there is sudden occurrence of the cold wind or cold air mass which tries to come down and warm air mass tries to move when they two meet at this point this warm moist air mass which will meet the cold dry air mass at that point it can lead to the formation of tornadoes here along with this they need to be the vertical air column should also be there the warm drafts the cold draft which can lead to the formation of a funneling shaped clouds these are funnel shaped clouds this has been seen in kentucky in 2013 kentucky in 2013 we can see funnel shaped clouds and this intensity of the tornadoes also varies and the speed also varies so it can the duration also is different it can be between minutes it can be between hours also or days also this is how a tornado actually looks like see this will be measured in fujitama scale you will measure the impact of tornadoes now why the gulf of mexico coast is more prone to the tornadoes that we need to answer why the gulf of mexico the main thing is the presence of warm air mass the warm air mass which is moist given by the pacific ocean and there is already the presence of cold air mass because of the position of gulf of mexico when they meet it can lead to the formation of this and second the seasonal patterns change the change in the seasonal patterns like during early summer or during the spring the warm air mass will be present at this region which can fuel the tornadoes the third thing the geographical characteristics of that region because it has flat terrain it has flat terrain it is for easy for the movement of the warm air mass and the next thing is the presence of the ocean currents the presence of the ocean currents the warm current which is the gulf stream 
which fuels the warm air mass and there is the labrador current which is a cold current when these two also meets then there is a formation of a tornado like situation and there is the thunderstorms which is actively present in this region which can also trigger the twisters in this region this is the reason why gulf of mexico coast is more prone to this twisters how to we conclude these sort of questions in the conclusion we can write down that we need the proper early warning systems proper early warning systems along with this the proper disaster response because these spiraling winds automatically takes down in everything which comes in its path that needs to be controlled if we can control these sort of things because it's a natural activity we are not fueling it it's a natural activity we need we can just give the early warning system to the people and we can create the community awareness regarding the twisters that you are in a vulnerable area please be careful the twisters can occur at any point of time through gps or through satellite communication you can give some early warnings also this is about the twisters this is how we need to conclude this question so we have seen what is twisters we have also seen the mechanism behind the twisters we have understood why the gulf of mexico coast is more prone to twisters and we have also concluded what should be done to reduce the impact on the humans of the twisters so this is about this question on twisters